sorting glass. I am the amazing Daniel Bernoulli. Today we are going to discuss my principle, the Bernoulli Principle. Developed first with liquids, but scientists also found that it works very well with gases. I'm going to show you some examples of my principle in action today. What do you think will happen when I blow across this paper? Well, you're blowing on the top, so it's probably just going to push the paper down. So as you can see, the paper rose when I blew across the top of it. If I were to blow between these two papers, do you think they would be blown apart or blown together? Sally, what do you think is going to happen? I don't know. Are going to push them apart? Now I'm going to blow between them. As we can see, the papers came together it was as if they were clapping. What you have to remember is that when you have fast moving air, it generates a zone of low pressure. When you have slow moving air, it generates a zone of high pressure. So when I blew across the, the paper, what happened is that I generated a zone of low pressure causing the paper to rise from a high pressure zone to a low pressure zone. Today we see scientists that are generating new and wonderful wings on planes and gliders that help generate lift more effectively. Bernoulli's principle helps explain why an aircraft can achieve lift because of the shape of its wings. They are shaped so that air flows faster over the top of the wing and slower underneath. The high air pressure underneath the wings will push the aircraft up into the lower air pressure zone above the wings. Bernoulli's discovery led to the first workable glider in 1853, invented by Sir George Cayley and the Wright brothers' first plane in 1903. His principle is still important in flight today. Now I'm going to show you my principle again, but in a new and wonderful way, using just a hair dryer and a ping pong ball. Are you ready? Oh, isn't it amazing? Oh. Now for a variation on my hair dryer experiment. Watch what happens when I place the toilet paper tube over top the hair dryer. The tube acts as a funnel, creating a low pressure zone within the tube, forcing the ball upwards. The air is moving fastest right above the hair dryer, creating a zone of low pressure. On either side of the fast moving stream of air are zones of high pressure. The additional pressure acts as a barrier, keeping the ball in the zone of low pressure. When you tilt the hair dryer, the ball doesn't fall because it wants to stay in the low pressure zone. So today in class we discussed the Bernoulli Principle, my amazing principle that says that fast moving air creates a zone of low pressure and slow moving air creates a zone of high pressure. We saw this first when I blew across the paper. The paper moved from a zone of high pressure to a zone of low pressure. We also saw this when I blew between the pieces of paper, creating a zone of low pressure into which the two pieces of paper moved into. And finally, we use the hair dryer to generate a zone of low pressure into which the ping pong ball floated. And that is the amazing Bernoulli principle. I hope you enjoyed my lesson. Mm. Isn't it amazing? Yeah.
<laughs> Aren't you amazed? <laughs> I didn't have it on top. So as we see from my demonstration... Uh-oh. <laughs> Oh, Sally, what do you think? 